NASA scientists are showing off a new spacecraft set to launch next week. It was developed at NASA Langley in Hampton, Virginia, and officials say that if you want to send a rocket into space to orbit the Earth and beyond, you need a lot of fuel to get that done quickly and safely. That's where the solar sail comes in. This spacecraft starts out small, about the size of a microwave, and then it expands to be 30 feet across. The sails are designed to capture the light from the sun and help to push it and explore the cosmos. A solar sail, the whole basic idea behind it is that light has mass. And so the photons that, that of light actually have mass. So as they are, we are standing right here in this room, the photons coming from the lights are bouncing off of us. We, there's, the force is so small that we don't even feel it. So out in space, right outside the Earth, ACS-3s will feel about the push from light equivalent to four staples. The goals of the mission are to test how everything unrolls and deploys and also how much the sun can push the spacecraft in Earth's orbit. The mission is set to launch early next week on board a rocket, lab rocket from New Zealand. Researchers are also looking into what lies on and in asteroids and moons throughout our solar system. Fox's Ted Lindner blasts off to learn a little bit more about how, to, how a unique hopping robot could advance our knowledge. Unlocking the secrets of space is no easy task. But with scientists only growing more interested in the minerals on asteroids and planetary moons, there's fear different levels of gravity and atmospheres on these objects will prevent traditional robotic crafts from being able to explore them. Locomotion on low gravity bodies like asteroids or moons is quite challenging, right? Especially for classic wheel systems. It's led Swiss researchers to develop this little guy called Space Hopper. So we had the idea to rather use a, a hopping robot, which can then not only use the legs for hopping, but also to control its attitude while it's hopping, like while it's flying. Space Hopper is armed with three legs and nine motors, which it uses to leap off the surface of an object with low gravity and move through space towards another location. So it's using its legs and the inertia of its legs to keep its body upright or try to get its body into a predefined orientation that would then be safe for landing again. The team has been experimenting with the bot under zero gravity conditions with help from the European Space Agency. And it comes as experts say inventions like this could be key to future scientific discoveries in deep space. We might find um, traces of, of origins of life, for example, on asteroids or small moons. We might find cues about how our solar system evolved. That's one big reason for exploration. Another big reason that people are looking a bit more into the future is resources. Many of these, uh, many, many asteroids contain resources that are somewhat scarce on Earth. Ted Lindner, Fox News.